Week marks three months since a Greyhound bus crashed into trucks parked along a rest stop ramp in Illinois, killing three people. That crash putting a spotlight on a deadly highway hazard. Trucks parking often illegally for what's supposed to be a safety stop, and it's all because of a national parking shortage. Investigator Susan L. Corey gets a first-hand look at how often it is happening and happening in the St. Louis region and what is being done to curb this problem. When the sun sets, there's a shift in speed on interstates. It's a disaster. As truck drivers race to find parking. There's no telling if there's going to be parking available. Without enough spots, they're making their own on ramps. Some stopping where signs clearly say they can't. I mean, it's really dangerous. Others creating lines so long, they extend onto the highway. But there is no parking. But stopping here can be risky. Number one, where's your emergency? A Greyhound bus just lost the wheel and went right into my trailer. July 12, 2023. Okay. We have a lot of people. A Greyhound bus went off the road at the I-70 Silver Lake rest stop in Highland, Illinois. There are very many people in the parked along the shoulder. Some can't get out in their trap. 14 people were injured. That is bad. It's bad. Three died. I woke up, slide through the aisle. I seen a body hanging out the window. Three months later, Illinois State Police and federal investigators haven't said what caused the crash. A survivor and a family who lost their loved one are suing Greyhound and the tractor trailer drivers parked on the ramp. While the danger is clear, parking problems aren't slowing down. The latest numbers from the federal government estimates in 2020 there were 30,000 crashes involving trucks on the shoulder or roadside. Of those, 457 were deadly. First Alert 4 investigates hit the road to see how often it's happening in the St. Louis region. We spent hours on the interstate from nightfall to early morning. It didn't take long to see dozens of trucks forming lines on ramps. It was off the road enough to take a break here. And stopping where they know it's illegal. Just wanted to know about why you stopped on the shoulder. Oh, it's all right. I seen other trucks, so that used to mean there ain't no parking on the rest of it. Drivers we asked don't see an easy solution. No matter where you go, you're fighting for parking. Terry McFadden has spent 10 years traveling across the country. I mean, I got here and I had to play the make your own parking game. Fortunately, I stayed up until this spot cleared out. Federal law requires truckers to take breaks. Starting in 2017, big rigs had to install electronic logs, which sends their time directly to the U.S. Department of Transportation. You're out of hours. It's either take the guaranteed spot back on the ramp, or roll through, find that there isn't any parking, and then how far do you got to go to find parking again? State laws on parking vary. In Illinois, it's illegal to park overnight on highway shoulders, but in other states, it's legal, including in Missouri. As long as you're off of the main travel portion of the roadway, you can stop on the shoulder of the roadway. Corporal Dallas Thompson with Missouri State Highway Patrol says they're seeing more trucks on the road and with it more making their own parking spots. Is it a safety concern? Well, absolutely. We're always worried about the safety aspect of it, but as long as they're staying in compliance with the law, there's not a whole lot we can do to uh, change anything right now. Parking is so scarce. The trucking industry estimates there's one spot for every 11 truckers. Illinois Congressman Mike Bost thinks he has the solution. It's vitally important that we do move this bill. He proposed a bipartisan bill to dedicate $755 million for states to expand rest stops or build new ones. If your bill does pass, how long would it take to get enough spots? Oh, my goodness. Well, we're, we get it passed. We're still talking... 15 years. What do we do for safety in the time being? Yeah, it's, it's up to the individual drivers to try to be as safe as they possibly can. Try to work with law enforcement. It is urgent, but trying to wake the people up to it and they get this bill across the finish line. Uh, you know, there's other things that are pending here and other people are focusing on other things, but we can do both chew gum and walk and we should be able to move this. Our cameras captured this months later in the same area as the I-70 rest stop where the deadly Greyhound crash happened. Semis cover both sides of the ramp and back onto the highway. I personally don't park on ramps, on and off ramps ever, but I understand why guys do. What's he supposed to do? 
What else can he do? We looked into how often enforcement is happening in Illinois, where parking on the shoulder and ramps of highways is illegal. ISP says from the beginning of the year to July 14th, there were nine citations and 12 written warnings. We asked the state police director about this. His office said they're not talking about it. Why? Because the Greyhound bus crash is still under investigation. A spokesman told us their system makes it difficult to track enforcement, which is why they gave us a limited time period for enforcement. Susan L. Corey, First Alert for Investigates.